Hey everybody, so I was going through some old files on my computer and I found this video that I recorded for the Black Ops 1 series that I had done but never posted for some reason. So I figured since this month especially has been very sparse on uploads, I'd go ahead and upload it as short and old school as it was. Uh, but it's kind of funny, like it's I left in the old intro from seven months ago uh, and it's kind of nostalgic to look back on it now. But I thought I'd post it, especially since I haven't posted a lot this month and things have just been hectic, but as May starts, I hope to really get into it. Uh, conspiracy, The Conspiracy Theory Iceberg Part 8 will be out soon, as well as a Sunday study, so look forward to that. Uh, and sorry for the slow uploads. Hopefully this helps a bit. Uh, I hope that you guys enjoy, and I will see you soon. So, thank you for watching. No response on Weaver. We gotta move. It's so weird how some stuff like just stays in my head. Like I remember, oh, we go up here and then Weaver gets his eye gouged out. Let's go. And then, oh, Take snake! I've never seen that before. Cool. Damn, it's Weaver. That logistically makes no sense. Like he was looking at a rock and then zoomed in and he's now inside. It's Kravchenko, Dragovich is second in command. There's nothing we can do, Mason. Weaver's done also, no. good ways to set up like villains for the story. It would have been so easy to have like some random goon do this, this or good. some sergeant or whatever. But putting the secondary villain in who has not been as well established as the one performing an act on your team elevates them as a villain a lot. And that's why, in my opinion, especially later when we see what Steiner did, uh, that's why right. Dragovich, Kravchenko, and Steiner are each their own notable, memorable villains. Because the game did such a good job of making each of them their own notable and memorable villains. I will say that's also where the game kind of failed on its protagonists. Because while I absolutely love like Woods and Hudson, characters like... Uh, characters like Bowman, for example? Uh, like, we all remember his death, that was brutal. But... As a character, while I like him and his contribution to the team, he, like, there's these moments with Woods, or I establish a connection with Woods, and there's several more with Woods after this, but there's not really a time that you and Bowman are one-on-one, -on -one, which is fine to have Woods be, like, your bro, but I do wish there was a bit more given to Bowman, so his death could have been more impactful. Hope your time for Kuda helps your Russian, Mason. Well, fucking better. You gotta save Weaver. I just want to question that their dudes are now different heights, statures, stances, colors. What did this guy say? Ivan, your voice seems horrible. <laughs> is is that an accent? I do love Bowman, if nothing else, for the fact that he's voiced by Ice Cube. Uh, which, I was wrong with what I said before, that's all the character development he needs. Okay, Bowman, Brooks, get him out of the way. I bumped the trigger, whoops. Well, what else did you want me to do? Talk to him. And now for the greatest Call of Duty execution of all time. And now for the greatest Call of Duty execution of all time. <laughs> just push him. I think if you hit someone with it, they just like lose limbs. Hold up. Whew, yep, there went a leg. Wait. Were MP5s a thing in the 1960s? Boy, it'd be cool if I looked stuff up before I did these. What? Oh yeah, I love this. It's too late, I can't stop it! No rocket launcher in the box? Is that kind of, is that part of it? Oh, it's just clipping through. Now there's a rocket launcher in a random box for no reason. But it doesn't matter, because... Boom! Now, I know what you're thinking. Why are you shooting unarmed scientists that are running away? And the simple answer is, um... Dragovich, did you confirm the kill? 
trust me. I forget. I don't know why the interrogator is asking that because, I mean, he should kind of know the answer to that question. <laughs> all right, so that's where I'm going to end this one. Uh, thank you all so much for watching. It really does mean a lot. If you enjoyed this uh, and want to see more, I would absolutely love to play through the rest of this game. If you think this video is terrible and that everything I do is terrible and that I should just quit trying to become a YouTuber, um, I guess you can tell me that too. Either way, thank you all so much for watching uh, and I will see you boys later. Bye.